us our hand to the Lord. Lord, this is the cry of my heart. We love you. We love you. relationship goals. Kisa na yung mga goals sa kinabuhi. Di ba? Alam mo yung goal? Kapag mo sa'yo goal? Ibig sabihin na, wala akong, wala akong gusto mabot. Hallelujah. Sa isang relationship, di rin pwede nga mo sunod ng relationship, gawa mo yung goal. Basta kanyang ang relationship, di rin siya dula-dula. Kaya ang relationship, di rin siya murag ikuhit lang yung mukha mo na. It's not all about that. Ang relationship, dapat na yung goals. Hello? Isa na yung uyap na rin. Bawa lang siya na matasok ka po. 
Aleluya, jugamos y nos ya tapa, tapa y gol. Aleluya, amén. Amén, no soy gol, niño, su relationship. Dile que puede ir a su relationship. No van a muy gol en life. Y si this goal will direct you to a proper relationship. A relationship without goals is like walking in darkness without light. That is relationship without goal. Relationship without goal is walking into a place without direction. So it's a being relationship must have goals. And that goals, hallelujah, must be our priority. Hallelujah, amen? Amen. Relationship goals, hashtag relationship goals. Amen. Kinsa din na kipag na ay uyab, pero wala na, basta magka-uyab lang ko, okay na. Okay na ako, hindi ka narago siya. Well, <laughs> uban mo, among goal lang, pagka-ugma, pag-holding hands, so, mag-sumihan na, just smack-smack, ginagma, yun, well, among goal. But it's not the goal. It's not the right goal. Kasi that, kala na trabaho, is hindi na trabaho sa mag-uyab. Kasi ka ng kiss-kiss lang. So, po, sinin hindi na trabaho sa mag Mas ka ng kiss, ginahatag lang na ni mo sa mga asawa. Sa married life. Hindi rin po ni mo hatag ang kiss. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hatag-hatag ang kiss mo naman dyan, hindi mo tamo mag-a-tag. Forever sa... Ay, nata mo ha? Walay forever sa uya. Dapat end up na nang sa marriage. Ang life forever ang marriage, ang walay forever niya. I'm going to prove that later. Ha? Okay na mo muli, ha? Amen. Ayun ko na na. In Genesis 24, Hallelujah, verse 1 to 3, yun siya na, Abraham was now very old, and then Rebecca died na. And the Lord had blessed him in every way. Grabe ang pagpalalani ni Ni, ni Lord kay Abraham. And so one day, Abraham said to his oldest servant, is a nasa Eliezer. Said you, sir. Siya nga, one day, Abraham said to his oldest servant, the man in charge of his household, take an oath by putting your hands under my thigh. Swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and earth, that you will not allow my son to marry one of this local Canaanite woman. Go instead to my homeland, to my relatives, and find a wife there for my son. Amen? Hallelujah. Lord, help us understand your word tonight. Hallelujah. Yung buto na, one day, to namatay na si, 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 si Zara, actually, grabe ang kasubo ni ni, ni, Kwan, ni Isaac that time. Yung naman, she lo- he loved his mother so much. Alam mo, three months siyang nagtigil nila. Three months. Kaya tungod man, Ba't na siya nangita kuya? Kasi contento na siya sa family. Contento na siya. Ba't siya nangita ang pangasaunan? Hallelujah. Ba't mo kitang ay sa hakti ang asya ng ato-ato rito, na malay-balay, ka nangita kuya po nun. In this scenario, in Genesis 24, there are 14 principles how to create a perfect family, a perfect relationship, a relationship with goals. There are 14 principles na makita ni Muniha. Hallelujah. Eh, dito na nga, Abraham was not very old. So, ibig sabihin, siya nga, ang nangitag uyab para sa anak, ang iyong papa. Hello? At hindi mo makita, yun siya nga, swear to me, kisugo niya sa Eliezer, pangitaig uyab ang akong anak. Pangitaig uyab, ay, pangitaig pangasawo nun. So, ibig sabihin mga mga young people, hindi gusto sa ginawa, pangita ka uyab, ang pangitaig o pangasawo nun. O dili na rin ang mga asawa. Hello? Tagpilang gatas, 500, yung gatas mo na min. Pinakaadlaw, tolo. So sa isa ka simana, makapalit ka duha, 1,000 ang simana, wapay sabo, dahil ang pair, wapay sali siya nila. So ibig sabihin, dapat mo humansa ta sa atong pag-eskwela bago ka muskula na. You need to prepare yourself emotionally, mentally, physically, psychologically, and lastly, spiritually. Kung hindi ka prepare ang five aspects of life, ayaw sulod sa pagpangasawa. Ayaw sulod sa relationship. You know? Man. Kaya ang pag, ka, pagkaroon ng relationship, hindi balay-balay. 
Na kung ano yung palay-balay, man yung tula-tula, tanggalon yung palay-balay. Hihiing anak. This is why as you keep on entering every relationship, you are making yourself prone, ibig sabihin, vulnerable sa pain. Vulnerable sa proneness. So, ibig sabihin, pero kung daghan ka ang relasyon ni Sulna, mas daghan kagagihan ng pain. Mas daghan kagagihan ng brokenness. Mas daghan kagagihan, hallelujah, na regret sa life. Hallelujah. Pero siya nga, ano, ano sa'yo ko, ni Abraham, siya nga, swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, that you will not allow my son to marry one of these local kananay. Siya ayaw tubuting at hindi ka magkuhaw para sa ulo sa mga. Siya din, go instead to my homeland. Amen? So, ibig sabihin, ayaw mong pamunit, mas kinasa lang, ha? Hallelujah! Okay. Kanyang lang ito na-explain na tarong. Ibig sabihin nga, in a relationship that is outside God's plan is ineffective. Any relationship that is outside the plan of God is ineffective. Tingnan na ba sa gimog away? Dili mo, I will have a chemistry. Dili mo, good mo science. Tao ka, hindi ka science. Chemistry is a branch of science. Hello. So, I mean, it's not all about the chemistry. It's all about the plan. If you are in the plan of God, Ibig sabihin, nakasali pa ka sa plano sa Diyos. Kaya pag mo ang relationship ng Kisul, nagsali pa na sa plano sa Ginoo. Hallelujah! Kung ka nasali sa plano sa Ginoo, it will protect you. It will preserve you. Hallelujah! Pero pag ka ng relationship, wala nasali sa plano sa Ginoo, it will put you in danger. Hello! So, ibig sabihin, ang tanang relationship that is outside God's plan is ineffective. Ibig sabihin, mura ba ang inong mong tambal nga expire? Hello? Nakay sakit, nagubo ka. Pero pag inong mong tambal, expire, ineffective ang tambal. Because why? Expire. Dagan, that's why dagan sa to ang nasa relationship, expire, dili inspired, expire. Hallelujah! Why? Because we are out sa plan. Wala ta nasali sa plan. Hallelujah! Dili pwede pag ikaw, ikaw engineer, ikaw architect, na plan. Tama? Na kaya nga mga teacher na lesson plan. Dili pwede nga magawas ka sa lesson plan. Hallelujah! Amen? Alam pa? So, everything that is outside God's plan, ineffective ang tanan. Ang imong relationship na ginisod lang is ineffective. Another one, in a relationship that is done outside intimacy of His presence is defective. Mura ka nagpalit o flashlights mara na ako. Ayan, nagkarikor na din eh. Dito sa palingke. Nagkarikor din. Sorry, sorry. Sa mga ekskol na ito yan. Sa palingke, ang nagpagkaw man, at that moment, this is defective. Tanawin mo sa kalang relationship without intimacy. Abin mo, siya lang talaga ito. Cute siya mata, malaboy na pangita. Baga siya glebs. Hello? Is nga siya kilumog na kung pinapangita yun? And uh, you think that it is good but the moment ka nagsunod mo relationship, defective. Why? You never found him sa presence. You find him sa gawas. Remember this, ginhatag ni Lord si Eve kay Adan in the presence, not outside sa presence. Wala niya ginhatag si Eve sa Eden. Ginhatag niya sa Garden of Eden. What is that? The presence of God, God's delight. So, ibig sabihin, everything which is kanagtanan na perfect in your relationship can be found where? In the very presence of God. Do not enter into a relationship which is not found sa presence of the Lord. So, ibig sabihin, before you enter into a relationship to man, you need to build the intimacy of the relationship to God. Because why? At the moment you are mature, in your intimacy and your in your relationship to God, then you are ready to enter into the relationship of man. How could you become effective? Sa relationship sa usa ka tao, kung ikaw mismo sa mong relationship kay Lord is defective. So we say any relationship that is done outside intimacy of His presence is defective. Tanaw ni mo tindut kay siya mo guapo kay siya no mo okay kay siya good. Nindut kay siya. 
top one school, runner pa yun, yun, chinito, la kisa po lips, nata lang, aluya, tangus di kito, in short pero talaga tindu gusto ba? We need to find someone. Dini ni mo babal ang, for example, mo pala kagano. Dini mo ni babal ang mga defective until until you test this. Di ba? Kung itas niyo di ba? So so I delete the rich mo sunod of relationship. Eto mo kaya wow, cute, wow, kapi cute, hallelujah. Test every person na musulod sa mong life for relationship. So that you will find out if they are defective or effective for a relationship. Amen? Another one. Yung ba? In your relationship that is that is in secret. That is that is sabi nyo na. That is in secret is risky and dangerous. Kung sa ibig sabihin na naman yung soon. Kanang inyong relationship na wala kabalo niyong ginikanan, wala yung nakabalo sa church, gitago-tago ninyo that is very dangerous. Wala. Miss Y, no one can remind you and no one can tell you that that is na i-boundary. Kasi bakit pag secret yung relationship, you might go beyond the boundaries. Kasi bakit wala nakakaalam. Wala. That's why kung nai nakabalo, nakabalo ang tanang niya ka mo, you need to be, na mag-careful mo, ano man, kabalo bisa mo yun. Tama. So, any relationship that is in secret is risky. Delikado ka na. Delikado ka na. Labi ka lang na nag-date-dates, ngit-ngit. Delikado ka na. Dahil kang daw ka na nangitabos ka ngit-ngit. Kaya ang kaaway, nangitabuhat sa ngit-ngit. That's why ayaw niyo mo pa ngit-ngit. Amen? Kaya inyong palit, mura po ngit-ngit. Di mo makita dito. Hallelujah! Amen? So, ang tanan daw ng relationship that is in secret, man, di ba na yung pelikula na, Secret Affair? Secret Affair. Hallelujah. Daghag na nag-gubat kung mo sa secret. Hallelujah. Amen. So, yung sabihin, very dangerous. So, yung muna kung warning sa mga mga young people, kung na mo yung relationship, isulti sa mga ang mga leader, di ba may mga hilabot, ana, ang importante lang kapalumi nga na kinsa yung uyab, Parang sa man, magkaig mo na mo at the same time, matuduan mo. At hindi magpinataka. <laughs> na mag-date pa yun sa secret. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen? Amen. <laughs> Don't get to magkita sa likod sa bahay. <laughs> dito sa kamong gayaan ni Lunoy. <laughs> Kapag kaya ikaw kaagi dito ulo, dito sa magkita. Sometimes it's a secret. Anong hindi mo mag-date sa dagang tao? Anong hindi ang hindi mo mag-date sa... Hallelujah. Dagang nga guba sa secret. So be careful of that relationship. Mga babae, kung ang lalaki ka ni Musulti nga tayo si Pito lang yung relasyon niya, nanay-lain. Nanay-lain. Kaya naman, para din yung mga balaan nga dagang din mo. Simple na, di lang babae. Ikaw lalaki, pag may nunggay mong uyab na, don't sit here. Napo nila eh. So, ang loob mong sugod sa isang relationship na ito, secret. Kung naman mo sudan na relationship, pabala ang inyong pastor, pabala ang inyong ginikana, pabala ang inyong isuon. Ano? Bukong pwede na nga lang mo sudan na buwana. Labi na kamuwag na kaysuwi. Labi na kamuwag na pa'y ikabuhi. Ang pinaka mong nagpangayon ng pang-date sa inyong ginikanan! Haleluya! Kano mag-date-date mo nga wapay kagaling mo kwarta? Ang gusto mo mag-date, hanap ang hornal! Ayaw kwa inyong ginikanan para sa date! Paano mo malo ko eh? Amen! Itodo na natin ito, last day na ito eh! Amen! Okay naman yan! Pito! Mag-date-date! Inoko, ang imong alawas, pero din yung tago-tago, para lang pang-date, di ka mag-research, napas mo ka. Para lang ipang-date. So, in your relationship, 
that is in secret is very risky and dangerous. But very dangerous na naman. Pwede niyong gamitin sa kaaway against you, against the church, against your family. Pwede niyong gamitin sa kaaway. Kaya tungod na lang secret-secret, daghag na naguma. Kaya tungod na lang secret, daghag na nga Ha? Kahilo mo na ako! Kahilo mo na rin! Kahilo mo! Kahilo mo! Kahilo mo na rin! Nawawala, hindi mo na na. Hindi ko ko katawal sa sasakyan ko. Oo lang, hindi mo. Miss Mike! Bigos na katago, pati ang mama na siya. Sintay! Hindi magali mo gawa sa bato. Why? Anything that is secret. That's why mga young people, do not enter into a relationship with secret. As possible, let the world know. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Another one. Any relationship that is prematurely developed will never come into maturity but will end to ruin. What does it mean? Pag ka lang relationship is premature, isulod mo sa isang relationship na prematurely developed. Ibig sabihin, wala pa gani mo lang kilalahan ay ayaw sa mong sulod sa relationship na wala pa gani yung totally na ilhan ang bawat isa. You need to know the person before you enter into relationship. Why? Ginabutang niyo ba yung sarili sa danger? Why? Especially babae. Hallelujah! Amen? Pag once ka na prematurely develop ang relationship, ibig sabihin dapat masugod na sa friendship. Hindi na masugod ang tanan. So that you will know him personally. Ngayon wala na niyo mo nakita niya yung pakiyot. Pakita niyo mo ang daot. Daot ko sa iya. So that you will be aware. Isul kayo na masul ka sa relationship mo na nakatali na ka. Kung mag-insul na kaghawa di ha. Ang iba na lang imoon to sustain the relationship, magpabilin ka. Why? Because first thing is, wala ni mo gisuri o maayo. Kaya nabito magpalit ka sa nina, suri mo naman ang ilok. Ang sit-sit sa nina, pitawon ni mo ang sapatos. Ang sit-sit, pirapirawan pa rin mo, basta matanggal ni. Ano sa uyang dali kayo? Amen. Ang isang relationship na wala ginasuri, puno nagsuri. Suri ka ay ba? Ang suri ka girl. Puro nagsuri. Kaya naman, ba't hindi mo gisuri? Suriin mo muna ang parales, ang suri. Ano sige siya suri? Kaya wala ka ka ba doon. Ano niya ay panahubo kayong beto, Hana. Hilig kayo magdota. Ano ba? Dota ako! Dota ako! Imutan ka? Hello? Amen? Okay, mali ha? So, ibig sabihin, suriin muna ang isang tao bago ka pumasok sa relationship. It doesn't mean, nagkasulod ng simbahan, okay, nagbatasan. It doesn't mean, nanas palpit, okay, nagbatasan. It doesn't mean, gusto ka naman ba? Wala na siya ng aerobics sa yasulod sa mga. It doesn't mean, okay, nagbatasan. Suriin niyo muna ang isang relationship before you say yes. Do not easily enter into the relationship without any observation. Amen. Para di mo masakitan, di mo mapulog suri. Kaya wala ka nang suri. Eh, siya nga, it will come into, never come into maturity. Pag ka na mo sunod mo sa isang relationship na dili mature, ingantan mo, dili yun na siya magmature. Ibig sabihin, it will end to room it. Magbuka dyan ba ng relationship mo. Kasi bakit? Prematurely defend. Another one, Any relationship with wrong priorities and weak foundation of truth is destined to collapse. O siya, ibig sabihin na na, any relationship daw nga mali ang priority. O sa priority, sometimes we prioritize each other rather than prioritizing God. Ang yung priority sa relationship sa kalibutan, tayo magkita, tayo, huwag mag-i kasi basing ba? No, yun na miss. Alright, si Lord, na miss mo ba? Pero pala ang gata ka na si Lord, love me mo. Sometimes we have wrong priorities. Ang nabi na ito nga, because we prioritize each other, ang nabi na ito, magdugay ito relationship. I tell you, in your relationship without God's word and God's presence in the middle will not last. It will soon to collapse. That's why, wala yung foundation sa truth, huwag mali ang priority. 
So in a relationship, you need to set your priority. Ibig sabihin, your priority must be developed. And what is that priority? Your priority in that relationship first is God. Pagka na ang relationship, ginapalayo ko kay Lord, biyay na. Kasi why? Ingnan ta ka, it will soon to collapse. Another one, in your relationship that is not founded to purity, and timing will end to chaos. Usa na, musulod ka sa relationship na dili sakto. Kasi ibig sabihin na buntis na ka tuwi kasal mo. Usa ba? Dili timing ang inyong kuan. Dili timing inyong pasulod. Ang sabi ito ba na, that, is, that will result to broken family. That will result to divorce. That will result to annulment. Why? Because it is founded not in purity and timing. Nagdali mo. Huwag mo kahula. Hindi ko lang ako kayo maglaan ko. Ako po tayo. Huwag mo kahula. Kasi mabot ang panahon ng maglupa ng kaldero, maglupa ng plato, nagniluparay na, kutsilyo, nagniluparay na. That's why you never enter into purity. At that moment, mabot ang chaos, ang apektado din ikaw mo, apektado rin yung anak. Why? Wala mo nisulod sa saktong timing ni Lord. Huwag ka lang mo nisulod in purity. It will soon end to chaos. So, eh, dagan ko ka ba lang yung relationship? And it's so good that it's not good until now. It's not good. What you saw, you reap. Why? It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. What you saw, you reap. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, right? Amen. Sometimes, wala yun sa kaliputan. This is relationship goals. Magtapad mo, patunganay. Alam, mag-skating-skating. Dito mo sa beach. This is the relationship goals of the world. Loving, loving, picture, picture, FB, with my love. Ang kalibutan, mo nilang gina-refer ng relationship goals. Mo nilang goal, magkakasa mo agto, magkakaong sa mall, ang sabay-sabay sila. This is not your relationship goal. Kasi gila mo sweet, sweet, bahalag, bahalag sa akin, basta labing ka na ako na to. Kaya doon na rin yung kalang labing sa akin, sa akin nga na. Because why? Do not follow this example in your relationship sa mag-uya. Why? This is not our goal. Ang goal, hindi na magkita mo puminti, magtapad mo kada adlaw, hindi na magkita mo puminti, magpulawanay mo, mo nang kasakit ka, ihubak na ka, kawa kay tulog-tulog, magbabanay mo yung system, isip ko na kaliha. Sige na mo tinaganay. Text, chat. Ano ba ito ba kag-agian na? Di makatulog sa gabi sa kaiis Ano ba nga na? Sa diwa ko ikaw ang aking panaginip Ano ba? Ano ba? Tigyawat sa ilong Pati na sa pismi Sa kaiisip Ano ba? Ibukas na ka! Tigyawat tumarami Wala kay tulog. Pag-abos ko, tulog ka. So, ibagsak ka. Why? Wrong priority. Why? Kasi, abin na po, ang relationship goals, hello love, mag-text, pag relationship goals, dapat na, pag morning ha, morning love, mama, chup-chup, kumain ka na ba? It's not our relationship goals. Because those kind of relationship will soon to collapse. Tanawang tag mag-asawa mo, kalansugo mo yan ah. Tanawang tag nababa ng buwama, chup-chup, kung walang naigata sa inyong manap. Walang naigaya, pero walang may kaunon. Tanawang tag nababa ng buwama, chup-chup na na. Because why? They don't prepare. Financially, you need to prepare. Amen. That's why nga ma, all your relationship goals, na mag-alaw ba paminti, mag-skate-skate. It's not our goal. In a relationship, this is not our goal. Huwag niya masabta na ito sa itong goal. Ang ba tali, trying to find joy apart from Christ is like trying to find daylight without the sun. Ibig sabihin, abin mo, abin mo, huwag niya makapalipay niyo mo. But trying to find joy without Christ 
It's like trying to find daylight without the sun. Apart from Christ, there's no joy. Yes. Yes. That relationship will soon to collapse. It will not last. Hallelujah. Another one. Mishama, I want a relationship as strong as this chair. Inan ta kamas tinusa ka kus gana ni Quran ang kumway ginoo niha. Wa ay dapat ang relationship na Because ang relationship wala nakabase kung usa ka kus gana ang chair. Nakabase ang relationship kung usa ka kadikit kay Lord. Yes. Dili ba siyaan ang strong relationship ang bangko? Asya, I want a relationship as strong as this chair. Paano maging strong ang relationship kung wala kay strong relationship kay Lord? Hallelujah! Amen! Mas yung sa pang bangko, yung tindugan, lingkuran, duha. Ngayon na to, strong din ang bangko, pero yung relationship din is strong. Why? Because it's not founded in the truth and it's not founded in God. Right. Hallelujah! Amen? Bapa ngayon, Lord, no? Long hair kasi, Lord. Long hair kasi siya. Relationship goes. Yung padali, number one, when the prophet says that Jesus called you to a life of singleness. Kaya nga nga, ah, dali ko, Lord. Tinan ka nga, ikaw si Lord, single ka. Kaya nga nga, um, hindi ko kung gusto mo yung single. Amen. Ang kanino, she's single. Oh, Christian pa yun. And she just like my Facebook status. Yes, Lord. Dili, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hindi ibig sabihin nga tumut Christian siya, nga gilike niya yung Facebook, gusto na kanya. Hindi mo dapat huwag kang asyumero, asyumero, ha? Ay, huwag kang asyumero, asyumero. Nga tumut ilike niya yung Facebook, ibutang kami yung heart, heart. It doesn't mean gusto ka niya. Gusto na niya yung post. Hindi ikaw. Hindi huwag mag-assume, ha? Kasi marami ang nasasaktan kasi mga asyumero, asyumera. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, ama! Magkanta na yung kagdita, uyap, malay ikaw o ako, hapang kong magselos ko, ayaw pagbuot. Muna na nagbuang, kaya nga naman, Sige lang taanig, ha, 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 katawa. Ano yung kubuang? Ano yung nag-assume ka? Kaya mong tapad, ayaw ka-assume. Amen! It doesn't mean ito mo nag-like. Tinig na, di basihan ang Facebook na like na gusto ka niya. Hello! Ito na na, number one. What? Number one principle in our relationship. The Father initiates and desires a right relationship for you. So, ibig sabihin, bago ko pa ng Android relationship, the Father in Heaven desire na magkaroon kang sakto ng relationship. Amen. So, ibig sabihin, kinsa sabi na nag-initiate? The Father. One day, Abraham said to his oldest servant, the man in charge of his household, take an oath by putting your hands under my thigh. Swear by the Lord and the God of Heaven and earth that you will not allow my son to marry one of these local Canaanite women. Go instead to my homeland, to my relatives, and find a wife for my son. Never nangita si Isaac o pangasawunod. But it is the father knows the need of Isaac. So ibig sabihin mo ngayon so, the father knows your need. The father knows that you need a relationship in a proper time. You know, Dili si Isaac ang nangita. The Father knows. So, ibig sabihin, the Father knows your relationship. But the moment na wala pa ni Abot ang giandam sa Father, prepare yourself for that person. One day, a man says, No, Father. And you just say, Pamahan. Hallelujah. Listen nga, I want to find the right wife. I want to find the right wife. So, before you find a right wife, make yourself right first. Before you find your right wife. Because if you want a right wife, you are a wrong husband. Hello? If you want to marry your husband, you should be a wrong husband. 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 Hallelujah! If you want to marry your husband, you should be a wrong husband. You should be a wrong husband. 
Tabang lang kayo pangita. Tabang lang kayo pangita. Hindi asawa. Hello? Amen? You need to choose the right woman. But is it the right woman? Able to support you. Able to encourage you. Hallelujah. Amen? Able to comfort you. Hindi din tama tayong limpyo na sa balay. But he will be your partner. He will be your, kanang ginatawag nga, partner ni mo in order to reach your success. Hello? Ano yung gano'n Ang father ang nag-initiate para kay Isaac na magkaroon ng relationship. Number one principle. The, know, the Lord knows your need. And the Lord knows that you need a relationship. So wait for the father. Hallelujah. Amen? Hunat mo sa father. Because why? Nasa gianda ng right relationship for you. Para di ka mag-struggle. Siya na ba Lord? Ngayon po, siya, mag na pag Jesus ay turo mo eh. Abad mo dina, mag na yun yun pa. Kaya sa mga That's why, at the moment you never wait sa Father, ingnan ta kayo so on, you will be confused kung kisa mo sundo. You will be confused kung kisa mo sundo. Amen? Nang cha, I trust the next chapter because I know the offer. Do you trust the Lord? Amen. Do you trust the Lord? So if you really trust God, na tagaan ka niya a right relationship, because He's the author of your life, kapalo siya. The Father knows your name. Amen? I trust the next chapter. Why? Because I know the author. Who is the author? The Lord is my author. And He will never keep me bukot-bukot. Nagaan ko niya yung best. Hallelujah. Amen? Okay ba, Bawali, ha? Number two, God desires a relationship with same DNA like you. Kung saan yung same DNA? Parihani mo ba? Hindi pa rin mo gaong. Ibig sabihin, parihan mo character. Parihan mo kalang Christian. Parihan mo nga naikahadlo kay Lord. Never si Lord muhatag o isa ka relationship which is opposite sa mo ha. Isa na, swear to the, by the Lord, that God of heaven and earth, that you will not allow my son to marry one of these local Canaanite women. Do not allow mga diri ka manginta sa mga local Canaanite women. Ayaw diri. Because Abraham knows kung saan sila. Kamalo si Abraham kung sa'yo ugali ang mga kanalay. And siya nga, go inside to my homeland. Ibig sabihin, pangita ka dito sa household ni Lord. Ayaw pangita, skawas. Aluya. Huwag yun na ikaw ako sa inyong simahan. Aluya. Namang gano'n niya gano'n. Ay, mapilihan lagi kayo magdag ko. Hello? So ibig sabihin siya nga, do not go to the local Canaanites. Huwag dito. Doon ka sa homeland. Ibig sabihin, doon ka sa katulad ko. Doon ka sa lahi ko kumuha. So ibig sabihin, that's why the Bible says, do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. Ay, try lang ko na ito. Ingnan tamo ha, never risk your relationship to God to enter a relationship outside God. Never risk. Kaya lagi na, ako ko lagi na, ako lang, maluwas. I tell you, daghan ang itry, daghan ang na-fail. Daghan ko kaila. So, I never risk your relationship na mahita mo sa gawas para inyong himuang kristuhanon. Bago mo musulod ang relationship, himuang sa kristuhanon daan, i-develop sa iyong karakter bago ka musulod ang relationship. Pero imong pangunyabot para lang maluwas, nagkakamali ka po eh. Bawal dari ang evangelical ha? Evangelize ako nila, bigawan kayo? No. Ang sama, disciple chicks. Disciple to come. Nakon mga kaila, nag-evangelical, nag-disciple chicks. Sinita po, biktima ang talang chicks. Kaya yung trabaho, evangelical, hindi pa yung disciple chicks. Never, never, never nga dadon ni mo, panguyabon ni mo siya para may mo siyang kristuhanon. Himuha sa siyang kristuhanon bago ni mo siya panguyabon. Develop the character of Christ first before kang sunod sa relationship with him. Until he will not be changed, do not enter into a relationship. Why? Sakit na sa ulo. And it will drag you down. So warning niya people ha, Do not enter into a relationship which is outside sa household ni Lord. Why? You'll soon to end into chaos. Ibig sabihin, tampo ka rin, mamaya ka chaos. Magkagumpin mong life ba? 
Dili maayo nga kita lang tuhan diri. Rat out pa yun. Mangga basta. <laughs> Tinuho, tama? Hallelujah. Sometimes kami makamot sa mga lalaki, mura ba ni damang? <laughs> Amen. Lalaki lang, pati babae ay. Kuya. Naman yung kahinaan ng mga lalaki. Huwag nyo namang pagsamantalahan. Awa kayo. Joke lang. Another one. They can be faithful to you if they can be faithful to God. So, ibig sabihin ka na ng lalaki, may mo siyang faithful sa inyo, if faithful siya kay Lord. Pag ka na, even though Christo Hanon, pero di siya faithful kay Lord, talagang sa Ramos Simba, why apil-apil, pero rininting, why ang po ang po, why ba sa pulong, ayaw na, kuya ba? Hallelujah! Ngayon man, kaya kung di siya faithful kay Lord, hindi naman siya mong faithful niyo. Claro, ha? Okay lang mo niya? Okay. Kaya nga lang mga klaseng lalaki, bulagi. <laughs> bulagi na, ha? Kaya naman, you will preserve your purity. Siguro sometimes we're nahatag na nato itong virginity. Nahatag na nato itong virginity. But God is looking for purity. Siguro so if you feel from the past, then let's God forgive you. But preserve your purity. That you will be pure before marriage. Ibig sabihin mo, ano itong last? Kung ano yung lain mo. Okay? Kaya yung aning relationship, bulagin ninyo. Kaya yung kuya, may pa bang ka magsulti? Tingnan ta ka. Pag yung aning ni Permente yung batasan, dili lang ikaw ang ginayana niya. No. Okay na ba kanya? Dahil ikaw lang yun dahil. Ikaw lang sa maitong. Pero mga butog yan, malahin. Pero butog sin sa lahin na po. Ikaw yun dahil. Sa maitong. Ay na, karuha ko na tayo yun dahil. Ikaw lang yun dahil. May naman asa man ang halugahan. Maitong, kambaw, tipo Pilipinas. Kung isang tipo Pilipinas, o sige, hal. Okay kayo. Kung isang maitong na dahil. Napalay lang sa kambaw. Amen. Okay ba mo dyan? Okay ba ba? Okay ba mo? Number three. Number three. Number three principle. God will send Eliezer, Holy Spirit, to help you find the right person for you. Ayaw mo pagtali. Because the Holy Spirit knows your need. The Father knows your need. As we inun siya, una, kabalong Lord sa iyong need, sa need ni Isaac. Then, iyon ni padala si Eliezer, asa, dito sa land with moral people who respected God and who know God. Then, si Eliezer ang nangita o pamanunod at ang asaunod ni Isaac. So, ibig sabihin, the Holy Spirit will help you and lead you to people that proper para ni mo. Tutuhan ka niya kung kinsa yung pinapat pang asaunod o yabon. Hello? O ka na nga, uyab, di nilang mabilin sa uyab, mapatulong na sa kasal. Ang inyong goal, ang relationship goal sa isa kabataan o ano, sa kita at sa tua. Hallelujah. Batanong pa man ko. Sa tua. Uy, batanong pa ko eh. Masiguan kung mag-move na ako. Batanong, ang relationship goal na ito, hindi nilang tatamal uyab. Ang I'm sorry, kung goal po ay, akong goal, nga makalima ko kuya, bago kuminyo. Ah, hindi ko na maayong mga goal. Hello? Our goal is to bring this relationship into marriage. Not into quit playing games with my heart. Playing games with my heart. Stop. Hallelujah. Ang sayo na diya. Siya, Genesis 24 verse 9. So the servant took an oath by putting his hand under the thigh of his master Abraham. He swore to follow Abraham's instruction. Then he looked, loaded, he, he loaded 10 of Abraham's camels with all kinds of expensive gifts from his master and he traveled to a distant Aram Naharaim. There he went to the town where Abraham's brother Nahur had settled. He followed Abraham. He followed his master. The Holy Spirit followed the father. Ngapangitaan ka o wife. Pangitaan ka o husband. Which is proper for you. Pati maglabad yung mo. Hello? Ano yung game niya? Then, he, na siya niya pang bit-bit. Ibig sabihin, at the moment siya ang mangita sa imuhang pamanhunon o pangasaunon, na ay kaslakip na blessing. Ano so, siya? He loaded then of Abraham's comments with all kinds 
of expensive gift. So ibig sabihin, pag once na talang na relationship, blessed by God, then you will live a life in blessing. There is provision. Hey naman, it is planned by God. It is the Lord who chose for you. Pero pag ka lang relationship is not blessed by the Lord, ignan ka ka mag-suffer. Huwag may pangaka pa rin ito, suffer lang. Medyo. Amen, amen. So, muli na ito po. So, the Holy Spirit is searching a person for you. What you need to do is to be faithful. Okay pa, muli ha? Another one, number four, wait for the right season and time. Na yung right season and time, tama? Amen. Hallelujah, na yung tigpamunga o mangga. Ayaw pang itag mangga, na dili season. Ayaw pang itag ka ng grapes, na dili season. Na yung season and time. That's why we need to wait for the right season and time before you enter. That's why, sabi na, karoon ng kaiskwela pa ka, ayaw sa sulod. Karoon na wala pa kayo kabuhi, ayaw sa sulod sa relationship. Kayo na wala pa kay income, ayaw sa sulod sa relationship. Kayo doon na wala pa kay trabaho, masipag na nag-graduate na ka, ayaw sa sulod sa relationship. Kayo na nag-graduate na ka, na kay trabaho, ayaw sa sulod sa relationship. Huwag pa kay naipon ng kwarta, huwag pa'y balay. May sulod yung relationship, huwag pa kay kabalo sa indirikanan. Hallelujah. Nagagag dapat i-priority, prioritize. Hallelujah, amen? So, ibig sabihin, wait for the right season and time before you enter into a relationship. Hallelujah, na yung season of time. Hindi ibig sabihin katungod niya, love at first sight. <laughs> Tumula na ka lang kita, na ikaw bagay na ikaw niya mo. Kaya baka ba kayo kung kasing-kasing? Grabe, pero magawas. Yung mga kong ginong buwang na gawin. Hindi pa man right time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Gusto kayo ng kanta? We have a right love at the wrong time. Tama, naging gugma. Wrong time ang pot. Wrong timing. So, ibig sabihin, we need to consider the right love at the right time at the right place. Ano mo, anong, anong problema ni Samson? Wrong love. Mali yung New York eh. Wrong time, dapat dilit to manahong. Wrong place na siya sa kalaban. Ba't ang mga balik ni Samson? Hello? Na ikaw pilin ka, Samson. Amen? Ingat mo, dagang delay na sa palibot. Dagang delay na. But do not allow delay na to destroy your calling in the Lord. Do not allow delay na to take you out from your calling in Kenya. Amen? Sa so, babae, mga may delay na. Do not allow your delay na take you out from the Lord. Oh, may dinay na gulihan ng lalaki ko. And then, what's sabi nila? Wait for the right season and time. In Genesis 24, 11, He made the camels kneel down outside the city by the well of water at the time of the evening when women go out to draw water. Another translation, ganaan ko. He had the camels kneel down near the well outside the town. It was toward evening that time the women go out to draw water. Ibig sabihin, wala ni Anto si Eliezer dito. Itong time na dinitigawas ang mga babae, ni Anto siya dito, itong time na may gawas ng mga babae. Na yung right time niya daw, that it was toward evening that time the women go out. So, ibig sabihin mga lalaki, ayaw mong pag-una-una, hulata ang babae na mga gawas sa yung season. All you need to do is to wait there. Wait until that woman that's being prepared by God to you, mugawas na. Ayok sudla. Ha? Ayok sudla. Kay harassment na. Amen. Allow the woman to get out from that season and time. To be present in that season and time. So, ibig sabihin, ayaw mo pagdali. Talaga, ayaw niyo kung pangunahin. Hulat mo. Wait. Amen. Babae, ayaw po mo patali na ligawas. Kainay timing para mo gawas towards evening. The time for the woman go out to throw water. Hello? 
Okay na ba muli ha? Amen. Ina, ina ang mga lalaki nga, what did boys? What did ha? Boys, what mo boys ha? Kinahit pa na ho na manggawa sa mga babae. Ang mga nagawin mga lalaki yan ako pa. Sa oras ka nang magawa si Inder. Pili na mo akong ginamin na magawa sa panay. Mga na dyan nga, hi boys! Pili nga. What I mean is the right season and the fullness of time. Eh, yeah. So, ibig sabihin, kung wala pa muna kahuman ang eskwela, ibig sabihin, kung wala pa muna kaprepare para sa relationship, do not enter into a relationship. Why? It will ruin you. Yeah. It will destroy you. Klaro ba mga niya people? Amen. Eh, yeah. Jodara, there is a time. So, ibig sabihin, wala na dali si Eliezer. Kabalo siya na dito sa well. Kabalo siya na na right place. Na yung right time. Dito na, he made the camels kneel down. Di panil niya ang camels. Para ano? Kinagalulat siya toward evening. That is a time. That the woman will come out. So, big sabihin, boys, wait for the woman to come out from his season. Do not, ayaw mo pagbalik kung may magunaw na. Tapos, di rin ka prepare. That is not the right attitude. The right attitude of waiting is prepare, for those women that God will send you. Another one. Jumping from person to person doesn't lead to God's will. Hindi ibig sabihin nga, kanina siguro ang tama, ay, hindi siya mga mga Lord mo, may problema, kaya siguro, ay, hindi kina mo. Jumping from one person to one person is never says that this is God's will. Because God's will, di rin ka pahaguo ni Lord. Di rin ka pahapuyo ni Lord. You know, that's why, nga nung ginabawal na tanguyabuyang, Naroon ba ng bawal? Nga naman! Nga naman! Una mo yan. Nasakitan ka. <laughs> Victims of love! Pangalawa. Takita na po ka. Aray! Aray na ko! Diba? Pangatlo, nagmumukhang tanga ka na kahit na nagmumukhang tanga Pa-apat, tanda po ka. Hangto na mo ka pag siya, may mong kanta, killing me softly. <laughs> Tagot ka ginakanta. Kung na ang pampulo mo, ang tatong right person. But the problem is, ang imong ma-offer kay sa right person, buak ka kasing-kasing. Ano man, nagsugod ka sa relationship na purus, guba, 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 guba. Ang to si kapulo mo na dato, you cannot trust him. Why? Because you think that you will be, he will betray you. He will not love you. Why? Because of the past relationship. That's so why sometimes you are not deserving to His love. He waited, but you never wait. That's why we don't allow relationship to relationship to relationship. Find the will of God in the perfect time, not by choosing people, but waiting to the right season to enter into relationship. That's so why into the jumping from person to person doesn't lead to God's will. It's just practicing divorce. Pag ikaw nga naka sa relationship kuyab, na mangita kag sige kuyab, sige ka pangita kuyab, you are practicing divorce. Nung panahon na mag-asawa mo, you will divorce that person. Kasi why? Nasanay ka na sa ingana. That is an act of divorce. Practicing divorce and how to love based off emotion. You are basing it in emotion, not in the will. Pag di na po ka ganaan sa lalaki, bulaga na po di mo ka. Mangita na po ka. Kay Marty ka masatisfied. Mangita na po ka. Because you know, you will never find the will of God first before entering into relationship. Don't base your relationship in your emotion. Because the Bible clearly says in Jeremiah 17, heart is deceitful. Be careful. Amen. There is a season and timing. Hallelujah. Being in a relationship won't heal you. We say, na ka. And there will relationship with one and in the city, don't become a Jimokaayus, but as in Kasun. Nabulagay na po ka! Masig siya, naging makaayos mo, sigasing. Ingan na talagang kamaayo, ngayon ma? Being single won't kill you. Isa ba'y namatay din na yung single? Ako nabot ang mag-ugtray tayo uno, huwag ang kulmatay. Si... Si brother, huwag mo na namatay. 31 naman na. Boy, kalintan mo, boy. Sige, boy! Boy! Ah, well, I'll tell you that. Sorry, boy. So, being single won't kill you. Gusto na kong klaruhan sa inyo ha, dili mo mamatay kung single mo! 
mas nakamamatay ang musulod kag relasyon nga dili planos Ginoo. Kay ano ba magkitok-kitok ka? Pero imo ki pagkito, kilo. Kamatay na. Hindi ka mamatay sa single ka. Why namatay na single? Na ilaon, namatay ang naon. Pili na ito ba ng murag? Nadagang siya, nadagang siya ng ugyaw. Pagko kayo ugyaw. So what? Ha? Amen? Amen. Sa ganina, you saved the best for last. Marag gusto na ko iklaro sa inyo ha? Pag 18 years old, 15 or 18 years old na sa proper nga dyan, hang to 25 years old, butang yung mong standard. Ha? 26 to 35 years old, lesser your standard. Ha? 36 years old to 50 years old, remove your standard. What are you talking about? Claro? Claro na, ha? Ayaw mo pa kuha. Amen. So, apin mo nga pagwas kung sunod ka relationship, maayo ka, I tell you, you are like a karinderiya na kahit sino lang ang napumapasok. Hindi ka basura. Ang mas sigisa rin mo, punit ni mo. Kaya pag ito, nabrikan ka niya, palit mo ka another relationship. That's not the kind of relationship God want you to be, to have. God want you to have the best. Not the worst. Bakit worst ang relationship ni mo? Can you are thinking that only a person can satisfy the need of your heart. No! No one can satisfy the need of your heart except God. Amen. And sabi niya, being single won't kill you. Waiting on God is never a waste of time. Hello? Amen. Never a waste of time. Another one, loneliness is not a reason to rush God's timing. Tumot kay lonely ka, magalitali ka, pangita ko yan. Look, dagang ito ka sa Facebook ka, happy kami ba reportin? Happy, dong, siya po, available. Dapat ito po, nagbaligyan ko, galingon. Available po ako, sabi ba reportin? Ganyan po, ganyan Usa ka kayo kay? Usa ka bibing ka niya sa plate? Barbecue? Ice cream di puro sin? No! As we belong to Christ, we are not like that. We know how to wait. And we learn how to wait. We don't rush God's timing. Because rushing God's timing will put you to destruction. We lead you to destruction. But once na gani, you rush God's timing, it is no longer God's timing. It's, it's your timing, not God's timing. Okay, baba tayo dyan. So, ibig sabihin, loneliness, kung lonely ka, lonely! Na kay friends, na kay family, na kay dugi-dugi, mo nito, dugi! Hindi ka malunli na, na kay dugi! Amen? Lingaw ay mo pa galingon. Kung sa lahat? Ato ba lang sarami? Kala ka na to! Di ka manonli! Nagtanaw pala kasi mo naman di ka manonli! So, ibig sabihin, do not reason out kaya tumot sa loneliness, kailangan ako mamuyan. It's not a good reason. It will lead you to failure. Hallelujah! Okay pa ba kayo dyan? Hallelujah! Number five principle, Set your heart and mind in God to pray. Before ka musulod sa relationship, set your heart and mind in God to pray. We have been pray for that kind of relationship. Never enter into relationship without praying for the person. Ayaw mo itong, Lord, gusto ko si Hazel, itong medyo morena, matangkat, cute po mga 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 cute po smile, taas o buho, kaya siya Lord, kala yun. Do not name. Okay lang mga ito, Specific. Or Lord, what's your want for me? You want me to want God? Lord, what do you want from me? Who is the person? I don't want to say that. Father, Father Abraham. I want to say that 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 I Wala nag-ams. Because the Lord set the standard, not Abraham. It's the Lord who set the standard. All you need to do is to set your heart and your mind in God to pray. Asa na? Gimona ni Eliezer. Then he prayed. 
Kung time na mo gawas sa ina, mga babae, alaman, kinsa man yung pinyo, dagat babae mo gawas, that is the, the time of the women to come out para mo kong tubig. But he needs only one. Di pwede nga talang babae, lalo niya, ay sa akpili ah. Di di nga na, he need to choose one. Di di pwede na gan. Amen. Men, boys, isa lang rin ah. Boys, isa lang. Lord, gusto kong i-reserve ninyo, my Lord. Kaya akong gusto lang. Kung ang sagri mo, yan, Lord. Kapit na malang Christo, ano, ninyo na siya. Eh, kung ako sa man, kuya, magwalik ko, mama. Okay, kung sa, kuya, ang problema ko, nga naman, tulo ako mo, yam. Bulagi na, kisa mo yung pinakalpalangga. Palangga na, usang tanan, wow, boy, grabe. Tuloy mong heart. Bulagi na, ang uban. Sige, bulag ka na yung isa. Bulag ka na lang ako isa, ya. Ang sanong, ang duha ko may nabilin dyan, ha? Yan, isul kayo, ya, palangga. Ang pagkas ko, ha? You need to choose one. You need to choose the best. Pag once na mag-exam ka, why duhaan siya dito? Ha? Ha? Pag mag-exam ka, select the best answer. Ama? Nung mula siya best, pwede di ba siyang the best? Pwede ka ang inumot ng the best? The beauty and the best. Pwede ka ang inumot ng pwede yung pangitaon. Yan naman. You need to choose. Then he prayed. Kung saan niya mo ni Eliezer? He prayed para makita niya ang right woman. Siya, then he prayed, Lord God of my master Abraham, make me successful today and show kindness to my master Abraham. See, I am standing beside the spring and the daughters of the town's people are coming out to draw water. Dagat sila, daughters, hindi lang daughter, daughters, ang magawas, Lord, tabangin ko, ang makapili ko, tama. Hello. So you need to pray for that person. Hindi na pwede nga magulat ka kang mga, Ha? Ba'n na si pwede nga eh? Mawagin siya. Nalahe na yung gusto, masakitan ka. Asyomera kang bayan na ka. Masa yung game mo, the time, set your heart and pray, May it be that when I say to a young woman, siya nga, please let down your jar that I may have a drink. And she says, drink, I will water your camels too. May kondisyon si Juan, while he get praying. Kung nag-pray sa Rizal, siya nga, Lord, kanina woman, pagwas nga mga ayaw kong tubig, tagaan ko niya. At the same time, di nilang ako, painumon niya ang pulo kakamil. Ang pinipili, mahulog sa pulo kakamil. Tag-20 gallons. 20 gallons ka na isa. So, 20 gallons times 10, 200 gallons ang painumon sa babae. Ito niya. Muna yung prayer. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant, Isaac. By this, I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. So, ibig sabihin, naka siya, ginapangayong kayo. Isa lang. Dili lima. Isa lang. Ingay mong tapat. Isa lang. Isa lang, ha? Okay, next. Ang sabi niya, God has not ignored any of your prayers. Sino may katuwanan? Do not stop praying. God is not does not ignore any of your prayers. The waiting period isn't fun. Tama, di ba? 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 Yun. Boy, kayo. Nang ikaw na? Ako yung gula. Pwede yung ako yung gula. But it is necessary. Learn to be patient on God's timing. Amen. Amen. Ano niya? Ano niya? Sa ikaw niya niya? It is important to pray about the person you're interested in. I-pray siya. Wala ka interesado? I-pray siya. God will might reveal something that will save you from heartbreak. Pray for the person. Hallelujah. Another one. Singles. Is it single? Amen. Yeah, ang bandiya feeling. If singles, you should try to invite people into your dysfunction and you shouldn't try. Don't try to invite people into your dysfunction life. Ibig sabihin, kanawa pa na tarong na life. Do not invite them in your life. Ikaw mismo din itarong, and you're looking for a perfect relationship. Pero ikaw mismo ang hindi perfect, that relationship will not become perfect. Masa yun niya, it's okay to be single. Hindi mo tapad, it's okay to be single. It's okay to be single. It's okay to be single for a while. For a while. For a while. 
And then, sabi, and allow God to work on you. Ibig sabihin, bago ka masunod sa relationship, allow God to work on you. Ibig sabihin, allow God to prepare you. Allow God to build you. Allow God to build your character before you enter into relationship. Para ka na ang relationship, hindi mag-uba, pag sa family. Another one, pray, wait, and trust. P-W-T, pray, Wait and trust if you want a relationship that is blessed with you. Amen. Number six, God prepares a person best for you as you waited patiently in prayer. Amen. Because you prepare the Lord best, but you need to wait patiently in prayer. Ganaman, before he had finished, tawa ni, nag-ampo si Eliezer, Lord, tabagay, tabag, tabagay ko, mamamili. Before he had finished praying, wala pa siya kahuman o ampo ni gawas na si Rebecca. Hello. Amen. Hindi ibig sabihin na mag-ampo ka na po. Huwag ka mag-ampo. Anak ka na ikaw. Kasi yung gawas niya. Yung may gawas niya, anak. Wait, it's timing. Amen. Anang ko. Wait sa timing. Amen. Ayaw itong. Huwag ka na mag-gawas. Huwag ka na mag-prayer doon. Huwag ka na mag-prayer. Diba? Amen. Ayun ba niya? Ang hindi ko ba siya, tigawa nga laon. Sagot ka. So we need to, sabi niya, before you had finished praying, Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethuel, son of Melka, who was the wife of Abraham's brother na poor. Tama kayo ang timing. Kaya yun si Abraham, pangita sa akong household. O kami si Rebecca, aluya, anak ni Bethuel, aluya, nga eksuon ni Nahor. Ibig sabihin, apo na ni Abraham. Hallelujah! Apo ni Abraham. Kasi Nahor, eksuon ni Abraham, yung siya pangita sa mga house. Tama kayo. So before he had finished praying, he saw a young woman named Rebecca coming out with her water, jug on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethuel, who was the son of Abraham's brother Nahor, his wife, Milka. Tell me, kasi Lord, no? And so, yeah, God's timing always seems delayed. Always seems delayed when we focus on things instead of Him. When the Lord do kaya o eh, kaya nga nung nagdugay, nga nung feeling ni mo delayed si Lord, kaya nag-focus ka sa mong uyapunon kaysa kay Lord. Kaya do kay. Kung nag-focus ka kay Lord, right timing. And so, yeah, learn to trust Him and His timing. Our loving Father would never make us wait if He wasn't preparing something great for us. Amen. Hallelujah! Ang dinalian na luto, di ilami. Pero ang luto ng dugay, ang sumang dugay, yung ani, kadapay marinate, nagkapag ipangin mo, gibabad pag wine, gibabad, nag-inom pa ang nagluto, dito mo, gibabad ang wine, so, gibabad pag yun siya, spritey. Hallelujah! Obey your thirst. So, ibig sabihin, God is preparing great. Ano sabi niya? Number six, God prepares the person best for you. As you waited patiently, and the woman was very beautiful. Hallelujah! Very beautiful. Dili lang beautiful. The woman was very beautiful. Virgin. No man had ever slept with her. No, no never been touched. Never been kissed. Gusto mo kaya na? O gusto mo itong atiluan sa tanan? Because you want those people who are best for you. And God will not give, give you the less, the least. God will give you the best. Yes. Amen? Kaninga Baba is very beautiful, virgin. No one had ever slept with her. She went down to the spring, filled her jar, and came up again. Rebecca was very beautiful and old enough to be married. Kasi na old enough, nasa sa saktong edad. Hallelujah! So, dapat bago mo magpakasal, dapat na mo sa saktong edad. Amen. Saktong edad. Old enough to be married. But she was still virgin. Kasi 30 na siya. 40. Never been touched. Never been kissed. Amen. Dapat ganyan tayo. Hindi lang ito pang babae, pati lalaki, ha? She went down to the spring field with Jag and came up again. 
Somebody said, this is how you can look on your wedding day if you rush God. Babae, nagdali-dali. Tawang na ko. Napugos. Ano ba, nagdali. Huwag akula. Taraway na pangasawa. Hindi ko huwag. E nga ni imong na huwag kung magdali ka, girl. Mura kang napugos. Smile! Ano ba, nagdali. So, yun yung tapat. Ayaw pa dali. Amen? Wait sa God's timing. Number seven. Okay pa ba mo niya? Wait pa mo? Amen. Kaya pa nga, God desires a man and a woman of character for you. Hello? Hindi ni gusto si Lord na ang imong mga pangasawa, di kabalong muluto, di kabalong mulungag, di kabalong mangita, imong bana, sige naghita eh. Ang babae, sige pangita, kwarta, ang bana, sige tulong. God want to prepare you a man and woman of character. Na di ni dali masuko, di ni dali maglagot, di ni mayroon ng biyata ka. God want to prepare the best man for you and the best woman for you with character. Choose character over beauty. Pero kung may beauty, katulit po, with character. Ha? Ayaw po na. Sige lang, okay man yung character. Ano mo, resulta na sa anak. Pero dapat, priority yung character. Amen? Ano yung character? Not beauty. Hallelujah. Amen? And suddenly, after she had given him a drink, She said, I'll throw water for you. Nung time nang ipainom niya, nang ayaw masigil ka niya, pwede ba ko nang matagaan? Inom mo nun? Itagaan niya, ipainom niya. And then, inom ang babae sa iya, after she had given him a drink, she said, I'll throw water for your camels too. Huwag mo siya gain na ni Eliazar. From all to prayer ni Eliazar, tama? Siya nga, nakainom na ka. Mas kusok pa mong kawinom sa camel. Wala siya rin ko mo na ha? So, ibig sabi, buwan niya yung painom. Kahit, Ano nyo yung painom? Lihat ko siya dito. Akong painom yung camel. One camel, kaya mo hurot of 10 to 20 gallons. Ang sa uli mo na, balik-balik. 10 camels. Grabe na. Grabe na. I will, until they have enough to drink. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough, ran back to the well to draw more water and draw enough for all his camels. Wow. Alam mo meron siya? Meron siyang character. Alam mo yung nakita niya? If you're single, focus on being a better you instead of looking for someone better than your ex. Hello? Ah, mas maayos siya kasi akong ex. Hindi, ikaw di makamaayo. Mas worse man kasi akong ex. Mas kipag better na yung mungipuli, pero ikaw worse ka. I tell you, that relationship will not work. So if you're single, focus on being how to make yourself better. Amen? Initially, a better you will attract a better next. Okay, so, a better you will attract a better next. Another one, prepare yourself for what you're praying for. Make sure you stay ready so when it's time, you're not trying to get ready. Masa na yung dapat yung moon? Prepare yourself for what you're praying for. Sige kang po, wag po kang ka-prepare. Pray at the same time, prepare yourself. Ano man, at the moment nga na na ang time, Dili na ka mag-get ready. Kadali lang. Di ba? Mabili doon ka. You need to prepare. Be ready always. Amen? Number eight. Hapit na mahuman. Tama na rin sa 14. So napay na binin niya. Unong kabuko. Observe closely and patiently the person in process of waiting. Ibig sabihin, basta na i-observe closely. Ayaw dahil yung panguyab. Ayaw dahil yung sukta. Amen? Observe him first. Sige siya yung panguyab ni mo. Ayaw sa tubaga. Observe him. Ang sa'yong karakter. Masunod ba ng simbahan? Mukhang po ba na? May padayon ba na? Kung hindi mo sa sugton, kung padayon ba ng simbahan? Hindi. Ay, ng sugta. Observe him. Patiently. Ayaw pagdali, girls. Boys, kung pangayuban mo babae, ayaw pagdali. Ay, 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 sugot. Huwag kayong easy to get, boys. Diba? Boys, ha? Huwag yung hayaan na i-overcome nila kahit naan natin. Boys. Observe closely, patiently, the person in process of waiting. And man, meanwhile, the man stood gazing at Rebecca. Ginatanaw lang niya si Rebecca. He observed Rebecca in reverent silence, waiting to know if the Lord had made his trip successful or not. When the camels had finished drinking, Eliezer took a gold ring. Sige atag, gold ring. Hallelujah. Weighing a half shekel and two bracelet for her hands, weighing ten shekels in gold. So we sabihin, tung time, tung time, nga nakita niya na si... Kuya ni karakter. 
maayo kay character. Gusto ni po sa binya, maayo kay character. Okay kay ni. Gini ibig sabihin kay nagsulong si Silbahan, okay dayon ha? You need to observe him. At that moment, itagaan na siya, bracelet ni Elizar, na ibig sabihin, this is the right person. Kita no? Oo na, I do, I do, yes, yes, yes. Tayo ka lang. Kaya lang, okay lang baka, oh, oh, lagi, oh, lagi doon. Oh, pagkain ang utana, okay lang baka ang mabukas ang plato. Oh, yes. Bukas ito plato. Oh, wala ka kapal. Wala. Amen. Wait patiently. Observe the person. Before ka musulot sa relationship, observe the person. Tagay siya six months. One year, I do, I do, I do, go, oh, observe the person so that you will know his character, you know his attitude. Pero pasulutin mo, hindi ka mapasubo. Amen. Observe him closely. That is the principle. Number, if you don't like the way that, that they are treating you, imagine being married to them. Ibig sabihin, kanang lalaki ngayon ng ayatarong, kung dali na kayo sa sa bunalan, dali na kayo pirahong ang buhok, Dali kayo sa kapahon, ayaw din ang pangyayon. Kung inaala pa lang gali ang treatment sa mga uyak, pang mo, how much more kung mag-marry mo? Karang babae nga, kamay lang kuha nga, Kung inaala pa lang gali ang batasan na boyfriend, girlfriend pa mo, kung saan na nagmag-asawa mo? The way he treat you, a boyfriend, girlfriend pa mo, madala na niya pa yung time na mag-asawa mo it would be very dangerous. Taro? So if you don't like the way that they are treating you, imagine being married to them. Never entertain a person you can see yourself growing and serving God with. So we sabihin, kung siya mismo, ikaw niyong magsimba tao, hindi siya magsimba, kaya na palanggaan, indication na, hindi ka bagay. Kaya na palanggaan, ngayon nga, mag-pray na. Huwag man sa tachat. Hindi na, hindi, mag-chat, hindi na, 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 Kanan a person. Why? Di ako lang dahil nauyag mo yung anak na yung karakter. How much more ka mag-asawa mo? Why? Di na ka may numa. Di ko! Di na ko! Di na pwede. Pinanap ay kaugan. Di na pwede. Kamu na. Why? So huwag niyong itali ang sarili niyo sa danger. Why? Hallelujah! Okay na ba mo niya? Okay pa mo? Namoy na ito na? Yes. Okay. Number nine. Ask and know the family of the person. Kinang ngayon, kinang kuya? Yes. For example, lalaki, gusto ko mamuyap sa babae? Kinang mo nga, kinsa di mong papa? Taga-asa mo. Ask the family background. Nala? Kasi kulto na yung ginikana. Beto! Ask the background. Alam mo, tinanong siya ni Kwan, tinanong siya ni Elizar, whose daughter are you? One of the principle, in order to enter a relationship, know the family. Kaya nga, huwag kayong magtago ng relationship. Know the family. Pastor Bob, Christian, ba niyong dili? Know the family. One of the principle, know the family. Kasi masyakta lang ka. Ano? Ano nga kasagaran na mag-away ang mabinan? Kaya huwag ka sa batasan. Know the family before you enter relationship. It's a very serious matter. Para dili ka mga problema pa na kung sa inyong pag-merit. Consider the family. Ayun man, siya, whose daughter are you? Tinanong siya din yung sir. He asked, please tell me, would your father have any room to put us up for the night? I am the daughter of Bidwell, she replied. My grandparents, grandparents are Nahur and Milka. Yes, we have plenty of store and feed for the camels and we have room for guests. So, ibig sabihin, ipagkipagunta ng babae, kaya kinsa yung kwan, siya mga sige, ato sa mong balay. If you want to know my family, ato sa mong balay. Girls, pag once ka na yung mga sa inyo ha, introduce them to your family. Hindi mong buong siya siya na mo. Sayang ang chance ko yun. Crush po man ako ng yun. Let your family know. Introduce your family. Hindi ka na si girls. Boys, introduce your family to the woman. Gusto mo ka magtaro ng relationship? 
You need to do this. But if you want to do it, I will tell you my struggle. Right. What do you need to do? Thank God and praise Him as you continue to pray and wait. Because you have to pray for the time that you have. Continue to pray until you wait. As you are waiting, thank God. Lord, thank you, Lord. You are going to give me words to speak for us as a family. Thank God for that, Lord, you are or, uh, realigning everything. So we can thank God. Ayok ka na. Kung tayo na nisipot ang babae niya, pero ilay ang family, thank God. Kasi naman tayo ang Diyos. Because you're on the right track. Yung ba na? Siya nga. Then the man bowed low and worshiped the Lord. Praise the Lord, the God of my master Abraham. He said, the Lord has shown unfailing love and faithfulness to my master. For he has led me straight to my master's relatives. Sakto ka, you Lord. Tama mo yun eh. Kasi ibig sabihin, pag once kang nakita nung mga ulang yun eh. Lord, ang halos standard na na begin to thank the Lord. Ayaw ka rin mo ito. Salamat sa ginoon. Hindi ikaw nangita na si Lord ang nagpadala na rin mo. Another one. Ladies. Ladies, ha? Ladies. Ladies, let your family know the person you desire. Yan naman. At that moment, Genesis 24-28, she and the girl ran and told her mother, Mom, Ano ko yung kapo? Ay, kaote. Hinagin sa Rebecca, isultia niyang mama, hustle what happened, and then Rebecca had a brother whose name was Laban, and Laban ran out to the man at the well. So, ibig sabihin, girls, you need to introduce, you need to tell your parents, naman, habay ka pang uyam na ako. What? Kaya? Bakit ito kailangan? To make you safe. Para ma-advisean mo sa inyong mama, Nasa na yung mga experience from the past. Alam mo, mas ma-appreciate mo sa inyong ginikan ng pag-ingani mo. Yes. Sa tinuda na ilang, at least open mo sa ilang ha. Kapag apos pa na hindi ka masisay, ikaw ko! Kaya tinga mo yan ako! 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 Let your parents know ano yung nagpumuyab ninyo o kinsa siya o sa iyong background. Hello? Dili na kuha ha? Principle ni sa Bible. Nindot ang love story ni Rebecca. Okay, Isa? Yes. Nindot ang love story. And the principle sa Bible na dapat ako buhat mo, nga nung nagkagukot ang mga pamilya sa mga kagitago ang relasyon. Nga nung gupa ang pamilya, itago ang relasyon. Yes. Never mo magtago ang relasyon sa iyong pamilya. Never mo magtago ang relasyon sa iyong ginikanan. Para ano, mag-guide mo nila Ma, ma, makuha mo nila maraman ta, kumusta naman mo at least mag-guide mo nila di rin ka magtago-tago mo tanang tago-tago ng relasyon ni abot sa di mayo next ladies, siya na rin when he saw the ring and the bracelets on his sister, si Baba, nakita niya arms when he heard Rebecca, his sister saying, the man said this to me he went to Eliezer and found him standing by the cameras and spring huh Tung tayo nag open sa ni Rebecca, kadagal si Laban, kinsa mo na. So, ibig sabihin, at least kabaloy mo family sa na. Okay, boys. Men, ask permission and state your intention to the family as respect of this relationship. Men, mga lalaki, ask the permission, permission and state your intention to the family. Bisa pa ikaw, lalaki, nang uyad ka. Gusto ko mong uyad. Ask permission. Pe, pwede pa na ako panguyaban ng mga anak. Kung sa'yo ang intensyon, nga nang panguyab ka sa'yo anak. Isod, no? Pag ingan na itong standard, dili ko lang ingan na manigulang mong laon, ha? Pero it will preserve you to the right person that God prepares for you. Boys, kung ang iyong 